Main event, Kazuchika Okada versus Dax Harwood for the Continental title. You know, I, I've talked about Okada before, where I'll watch his matches on my treadmill, and I'll I'll just be walking on an incline, and it's like, how long before he's working harder than me? And it's minutes on end. Like, sometimes it's 20 minutes in a New Japan yeah, main event. Yeah, the main event, yeah. I was watching this match, and like, I'm not saying the match is bad at all, okay? This was a this was a great main event, okay? But like I watched Okada the entire time. This guy worked this entire match in first gear. <laughs> and like he's so fucking good, I don't think anybody noticed. Yeah. But I was sitting there one row off the floor watching this guy. I have never seen somebody. Actually, you know what? I take that back. Randy Orton. Randy Orton does the same thing. Randy Orton and Okada expend zero energy i'm talking zero this guy could fucking probably fall asleep shoot and and make his way through a match it is incredible and i'm not saying this in any negative way whatsoever i watch him and i i sometimes i think i wish i was 15 years younger because i would want to like start working regularly again and figure out how to do it like this because it's just, it's amazing. He does nothing. Nothing. Like, he looks like a guy that would get in the ring with Buddy at Buddy School, and Buddy would be like, you gotta stiffen up, brother. You gotta, like, work a little harder. Like, he does nothing! And I mentioned, I, I texted some people, and they were like, he's the greatest. Like, <laughs> he's just the greatest. He's so fucking amazing. And, uh, yeah, this match was was great, but it was just... And it was astonishing to watch Okada work. It is. And, uh, I mean, I, we mentioned it before, but he's learned that for an American audience, he can make funny faces, and that will get a bigger reaction than moving into, for example, second gear. And he's, so he's smiling and cackling or scowling constantly. And it works. And it gets over. He's got great facials. So, yes, uh, it, 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 this was... <laughs> this is the, the easy mode, I guess, for Okada. They had a great TV match. Like The, the, the most physical intense thing was he, he no-sold all of Dax's chops early, and as the chops wore him down, he sold them more and more and more. But otherwise, they just did some stuff, and uh, Okada's in trouble, and he tries to use... He grabs the belt, and the ref tries to take it away. He throws the belt to the other side of the ring, so the ref is distracted. He kicks the rope, and a Dax's nuts coming in, hits the Rainmaker, and pins him. That's it. You know, this Okada had a back injury a little while ago. But prior to that, I remember talking to somebody in like 2019, 2020, when he was like on his, you know, legendary run as IWGP heavyweight champion. And it was someone who worked for New Japan. And, you know, we we're talking about Ishii, who's always taped up, and all these other guys have all these injuries. And they were like, you know, the only guy that's like not hurt is Okada. And <laughs> there's a lesson here. There is a reason that everybody else was a walking wreck, and he wasn't. And it was his ability to create the illusion of movement and the illusion of speed and the illusion of hard-hitting action and really be doing almost nothing. And again, Randy Orton, watch his matches. It's the exact same thing. And he is a master of it in WWE. On the other side of the coin... Dax Harwood, uh, he had that match against uh, Dynamite Kid on Collision. Yes. And he he retweeted a gif of the superplex he did in that match and says, I've had a hematoma on my left side lower back since the latter match at Dynasty. This might have been the most pain, painful bump of my 20-year career. And so he comes out here on Dynamite four days later, five days later, whatever it is, and he starts the match with a patch right where he's talking about, lower left side of his back. At some point it fell off, but God damn it, he hit that superplex anyway. Yeah, and that superplex, ironically, may have been the worst bump of Darby Allen's career. Because <laughs> this poor guy's under the ring, and a fucking beam hit him in the head. Yeah. As he talked about later. No fun, no fun. So Okada wins. Uh, the Elite runs into attack afterwards. Uh, Cash Wheeler runs out. And Brian Danielson runs out. And then Darby Allen's music hits. And it's the same thing as Danielson opening the show. I'm looking at the, 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 the entranceway, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting. And the music stops, and I look, and oh, he's already in the ring. So uh, they clean house. He's got a skateboard, and uh, the graphic is immediately up on the screen. Darby Allen is replacing Eddie at, at uh, Anarchy in the Arena, 
And that was where Dynamite ended. And then we got a very, very long promo segment afterwards. The gist of which was, Danielson thanks the fans, the, the, the Northwest fans for all they've done in his career. And he says, I, for a long time, have been the Washington State guy. I think we have a new Washington State guy, in points to Darby. And it is interesting, because as you noted, Swerve technically is from Tacoma. But uh, there you go, Darby, the new Washington State guy, per Brian Danielson. And then Darby cut his promo. And he says, I broke my foot. Got hit by a fucking bus, as he put it. And uh, I got KO'd on the superplex, which I, I I didn't understand until later what he was talking about. I didn't realize he was under the ring. So there you go. He says, I think I need to go to the hospital. Ha, ha, ha. And it's Darby. I don't know if he was joking or not. Well, I don't think he was joking because, you know, his foot is still messed up. He's limping around. And I don't know if he's cleared. I don't know what the deal is. But, I mean, he's limping. And it's only been, it hasn't even been two months yet since he broke his foot. And he did get hit by a bus. And his head was fucked up. And he just got hit in the head with a fucking beam. So there's no way this guy should be in this match. No way. And, you know, they can probably do some walking and talking because it's anarchy in the arena. But, I mean, I don't know, man. Someday, someday something's going to go wrong here, you know. Mm-hmm. Chuck Taylor, he worked that last match with a with a probably career-ending foot injury. Yeah. Or at least they think there's a good chance, and that's legitimate. And they let him work that match with his foot in that condition. And Darby's probably going to be allowed to go out there, and I think they should just stop people from doing that. Am I asking too much? They have a large roster. I think Claudio yeah, could have, could have been Claudio would have been a great fill-in. Yeah. I mean, there's anybody. Yeah. I mean, whoever. But Darby should not be in that match. It's ridiculous. So in the weeks leading up to the show, we tried very, very hard to find out what was going to be after. Would it be Ring of Honor? Would it be yes. Rampage? And uh, Dax just says, that was the main event, everybody. Thanks for coming. And we went home. And we went home. Yes. Went outside. It was still light out. <laughs> it was very strange. And my buddy Matt, who lives not far from there, says, are you hungry? This place is good Thai food. We had some excellent Thai food. And uh, then went home. And that was that was dynamite, everyone. We had a great time. These glasses are bad. Just a minute, I have changed glasses. Let's all change something. I need to change so many things. These are new ones, too, but I can't see with them. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the, red, the red head pin, you had to get a strike. It was a bowling tournament. You gave away a picnic table. Of all the prizes, a picnic table? <laughs> this is terrible today. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Corn buckle. Huh? What was it? <laughs> Brian. I, what? What was that? Come <laughs> <laughs> on, Brian. What's going on? Keep going. On lonely, lonesome highway. That's all I have for today. Okay, well. Are you sure? Excellent <laughs> job, Granny. Shut up, Brian. <laughs> I had a note down here for some stuff I was going to answer. Hello? <laughs> yes, he's all right over there. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.